Will God forgive me if I keep on sinning? To talk about God's forgiveness, I need to distinguish between three categories of people. The first category is what I will call wicked people. Wicked people are people who don't care if what they do is right or wrong. Wicked people don't fear God. They may be liars or thieves, murderers, sexually immoral, gossips, lovers of money, lovers of pleasure, lovers of themselves. They keep sinning without any repentance. And the Bible makes it clear that wicked people will be judged and condemned. There's no forgiveness for wicked people. But I'm guessing that if you're watching this video, you're not in the category of a wicked person because a wicked person wouldn't even be interested in God's forgiveness. So the second category of people is what I will call righteous sinners. A righteous sinner is someone who knows he's a sinner and who knows that he needs God's forgiveness. Um, someone who is seeking to do right, even if failing miserably. And if you are a righteous sinner, then I have great news for you because Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins so that you can receive total and complete forgiveness from God. And if you put your faith in Jesus, then you will be part of the third category of people. The third category of people are the saints of God. If you have put your faith in Jesus Christ to save you, then you are no longer a sinner. The Bible calls you a saint, a holy person, a child of God, a new creation in Christ. And all of your sins have been nailed to the cross with Christ. You are completely forgiven. Well, some are going to go further with the question and say, you know, I'm a believer in Jesus. I'm a child of God, but I, what if I keep on sinning? Is God still going to forgive me? Well, why was it that the Son of God was tortured and killed? My husband likes to say that Jesus Christ did not die on the cross to get you a 10% discount to heaven. You know, there was a huge problem between you and God. It was your sin. And your sin is the reason that Jesus came to die on the cross. So if your sin is still a problem between you and God, if Jesus didn't correct the problem, then Jesus died for nothing. Well, you can be sure that the Lord Jesus did not die for nothing. He died so that 100% of your sins could be forgiven, and they are. This is not my idea. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says where sin abounded, grace abounded all the more. Does that mean that you should keep sinning? No way. And if you are sinning right now, then I, you can be sure that you are causing great harm to yourself, and to other people around you. So you need to stop sinning. And as a child of God, God has given you the power to overcome that sin in your life. Now you may be feeling like, I don't feel like I have the power to overcome this sin. I wanna stop, but I just keep doing it. Well, there's, I'm gonna have to do another video on that topic because I wanna stay on the topic of whether or not God will forgive your sins if you keep on sinning. And the answer is yes, God forgives all of your sins, child of God. Now at this point, some may quote the verse from Hebrews chapter 10, which says, if we deliberately keep on sinning after receiving the knowledge of the truth, then no more sacrifice for sins is left, but only an expectation of judgment and raging fire which will consume the enemies of God. Wow, that sounds kind of harsh. It sounds like if I keep sinning, God is not gonna forgive me and he's gonna judge me. Well, I want you to look back at the context of that verse. Go back and read it. 
because there's only one sin being talked about in that chapter, and that is the sin of rejecting God's sacrifice for you in Jesus Christ. You know, if you reject Jesus' sacrifice for you, then there is no more, there's no other sacrifice that you can look to for forgiveness from God, and you can expect judgment because Jesus is it. Jesus is the only sacrifice that God accepts. So don't reject the sacrifice that God has given for you in Christ. Now let's not forget another verse that's in Hebrews chapter 10. And it says, By one sacrifice, God has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. So, saints of God, God has made you perfect forever by the sacrifice of Christ, and now he's making you holy in every way. Fear not, your sins are forgiven. Thanks for watching.